it's Rebecca from the Glitch Stitchery. I'm here today with my, what month is it? May? I think it's May. May 2022 Paradise Fibers opening. Uh, if I remember right from the email, this is a dye project. So in this video, I will be opening it. We'll look at everything and then I'll do the dye work, but we're not going to spin it in this video because frankly, between waiting for it to dry and then spinning, that would just take too long. So let's get this open and see what we've got. We're just going to be staying on the table today. I want to see if this is a little easier for me to shoot. <laughs> Not easier for me to open. Meh. I hate using scissors on these. I'm not scared I'm going to cut something important. Okay. Well, I can see that it's blank, so I was right about it being a dye project. Let's pull these out. Walking on Sunshine. Featuring a new Cheviot sock blend and country classic dyes. Ooh, this should be interesting. All right. So you can see what I'm reading. So walking on sunshine, we've got eight ounces. That should be enough possibly for a pair of socks. So this is a cloud-like blend with all the characteristics of a classic sock yarn with extra loft and strength. It's 75% superwash Cheviot and 25% faux cashmere, which is stretched nylon. Interesting. I've never heard of, I wonder what it says superwash Cheviot, if it means superwash treated Cheviot, or the fact that Cheviot is in itself kind of naturally superwash. Hmm, we'll have to see. And then we got the projects. We got a Spectrum one, which is spinning the yarn first and then dyeing the yarn we've got reverse speckles which is also spinning the yarn first and then dyeing the yarn now, reverse speckles is really cool these are both awesome projects that i will do in the future but for this one i want to dye the fiber and then spin the fiber so we're just going to set that back there uh, i'll keep this done here so that i can actually let's, let's put it right here so i can read off that part as we look at it so this is my eight ounces. It's a lot. <laughs> Ooh, that's pretty soft, honestly. Um, like it's not like super, it's not like merino soft, but it's not bad. It has an interesting smell to it, which makes me think that yes, it probably is super wash treated. I, I know how that sounds, it's hard to explain. Also, if you look at it, because of how it's been processed, it has been pretty much completely straightened by processing, which tends to happen when you're working with um, something super processed. But this does mean that when I'm done spinning it and I wash it, the water tends to activate some of that crimp that was stretched out. So you can expect this probably to get a lot of bounce back um, and get a lot thicker when you wash the finished yarn. So just keep that in mind when you're spinning it and plying it, that it will probably be significantly thicker than you expect. All right, so there's that. And, huh, that's interesting. Oh, okay, um, I did not get any notions with mine. They're not mixed in with the wool, right? I don't think supposed to get dye and stitch marker and a sticker. Doesn't look like it. All right, I'm going to have to send an email to Paradise Fibers, but I can at least get this ready for dye work. I'm just winding it into a ball so I can get it back, work back in the bag. <laughs> All right. That's okay. We will be back in a little bit for the dye project and I will let you know if they email me back. Yeah, there's nothing in there. All right. One minute. All right. So it's been about a week and my replacement parts from Paradise Fibers haven't arrived yet. I'm going to email them again today just in case they forgot to ship it out. Um, but I have deadlines. So let me just grab the dye real quick. Alright, so what was originally supposed to be in the package 
was samples of country classic dyes in Mountain Aqua, very hot pink, key lime, and raven. Um, obviously I don't have that brand of dye, so I had to go with the next best thing. So I grabbed Jacquard Hot Fuchsia, Jacquard Jet Black, Jacquard Chartreuse, and Dharma Bright Aqua. So that was the best I could do. Um, I'm going to switch this to time lapse. I'm gonna use a little bit of each of the four colors, just like I would have if they had come in a package. And then when the replacement parts eventually do come, then I will be able to dye something else with those and then we can just compare them. So let's get to time lapse. Alright, here's how my Cheviot Blend Sock Spinning Fiber came out. I absolutely love these colors, they make me very happy. Um, unfortunately, I'm going to have to end the video here because my replacement for the missing part of my package hasn't arrived yet. So what I'm going to do is schedule this video to come out in June and then hopefully the second part of the package will come and I'll be able to film part two of this and have it come out you know, the same day, but like just slightly after this one, hopefully. I mean, hopefully it'll come soon. But I can't wait to compare the colors that were supposed to come with this on a different fiber and see how it looks with it. Uh, Mike called this particular colorway leg warmers, which I would tend to agree with. It is very, you know, retro, <laughs> retro exercise gear, which is fine with me. I, I, like I said, I absolutely love this type of colors very bright. So that is it for this video and I will see you again soon with part two hopefully. <laughs>